Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Rodian and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Halter Falls Brickmate Brick Tape. This brick tape has got me out of a fair few pinches over the time, but before we get into the video, do think about subscribing down below if you've enjoyed my videos. Let's get straight into the overview of the tape. The Halter Falls Brickmate tape has been designed to aid professional bricklayers. The unique blade design accurately calculates brick and block quantities and coarse heights. There's also a conventional metric scale which is accurate to EC Class 1 for general measuring. There's a non-slip rubber grip pad. It has an easy to operate positive action lock, minimizing blade slip, bump stop for added blade and end hook protection. This tape also has a nice belt clip with quick release system. So you can attach that to your belt and just sort of have your tape on your hip and just release it whenever you need it. It has a very unique measuring system on the blade, as you can see here. So it's showing you, you've got, you've got this little legend, let's call it bricks in the black, blocks in the red so that's half a block one brick and then it also has your courses so if you look at this elevated as you would look at it courses that would be three courses four courses five courses there's your 75 times table and as we go along a little bit more you can see that you have two bricks and then that is one block and you see where it points to the arrow that is where the end of that brick and that is where the end of that block will be the part with the two in it the part with the one that should join we also have the metric scale here obviously if you're working feet and inches it it doesn't it doesn't show that so you're gonna to have to very quickly on the fly work that out so all of these measurements are worked out using uk measurements like it, uh, for example the one brick is the 250 millimeters long by 102.5 mil wide and 65 mil up so it might not necessarily work in other parts of the world like i'm not 100 percent sure if the usa if your bricks are different sizes i know in australia some bricks are different sizes so let me know down in the comments if you are from those parts of the world and you can confirm or deny whether the bricks are different sizes. This tape has come in incredibly handy over the years. I've used it to set out houses, extensions. You can use it to mark out if you have, for example, a five, six meter run, then you can mark out how many bricks it is so you don't end up getting a broken bond, which is not what you want. You don't want that zipper running straight up the side of a building. This comes in extremely handy for that. Also for gauge, this, I use this every single time I gauge up. I always use this because it has your gauge on it and all you do is you just tape it up and follow it up. Some people do say you shouldn't use these because you should know your 75 times table. Not everyone is, if you're getting like seven, eight, maybe not eight, maybe if like 12, 15 courses up and you don't, you're not working that high all the time, you don't want to have to think to yourself, oh, is it, is it uh, 45 or is it on the number or is it this or is it that? This way, all you have to do is you just look at it and it's like having a gauge rod. A lot of people use gauge rods. This is exactly the same, but that gauge rod sits on your hip and you, it's just there. You use that quick release, get it out, gauge your brickwork, pop it back on your hip, pick your trail up, get licking and laying. So I'd say this, for those of you who say you shouldn't use this, just you just... You should just use a normal tape. I wholeheartedly disagree with you. I would say, why would you not use this? It's gonna be quicker. If you aren't terribly good at maths like me, then I know certain parts of my 75 times table, but this just saves me having to think about it. For that, those two or three seconds where you're stood there looking at the side of a brick going, oh, hold on a minute, um, 70, 37, 30. You're trying to work it out. You just look at it, bang, done, get on with it. So I would say, Final thoughts, this, in my opinion, is a no-brainer for bricklayers. I'd say every bricklayer should have one of these, and I'll be very interested to hear if in the USA you have the same size bricks, because I have a funny feeling that it's uh, gonna be a UK only. But I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. It'd be greatly appreciated. So as a final result, I would say I'd wholeheartedly recommend this. There will be links down in the description to my Amazon store, so you can go and check it out from there, see pricings and things like that. So yeah, go down below, check that out. While you're down below, please do think about subscribing. It really helps me out on this channel, do what I do, bring you the content that I do. With that being said, if you are interested in learning how to lay bricks in more detail, click this playlist here. If you're interested in seeing me build a free bedroom house completely by myself, check out this playlist here. And with that being said, we'll leave it there for today. So take care and I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-ra.